Runners Strong, the Junior League of Roanoke Valley, has been putting on a shopping extravaganza called Stock Market. Now, this is not your ordinary shopping event. Folks come out from all over to get their shopping done early. There's dog treats, jewelry, handbags, food galore, and so much more. Let's shop at Stock Market here on Round Roanoke. I understand you're the co-chair here of the stock market. Exactly what's stock market all about? Stock market is all about raising money to help children and women in the community. We've been doing this for 26 years and we've raised over $3.2 million, which we put right back into the community. It's really amazing. That is extremely impressive. So about how many vendors, this is a pretty big event, about how many vendors are here today? It's huge. This year we have over 140 vendors here and they're selling all kinds of merchandise and they're here from all over the country. This is your first time here at the stock market as a vendor. What's been your experience like thus far? It's been very busy, very exciting. You meet a lot of nice people, and it's very nice to have people, because this booth was not here last year, to see the excitement on their face because they see us back this year. So people have been buying this cheese by the boatload. Yes. Is it something that folks are keeping and giving as gifts or just saving all for themselves? Both. We did have a lady yesterday that bought 15, was giving them as gifts, was just going to put one in a bag with a box of crackers because it's very unique. You cannot buy it in Virginia. It's made in North Carolina. It's a very unique gift and it's very, very good. So Sonia, I understand you have been here for years and as a shopper of the stock market, I have bought many of toys from you. So how, how often have you come to stock market? You know, I can't even remember the number of years I've been coming here. It's got to be at least five years, I would say. I have met some of the most wonderful shoppers here in Roanoke who come back to me every year telling me how happy their children were with the gifts that they bought. Now, what makes your toys different? I had my career as a teacher. I was an educator during all my earlier years. When I retired, I wanted to stay in touch with families and children, and we started KidStop on a small level, and we've grown over the years, and we're always looking for unique items for children that are imaginative, that have some learning aspect to them, and not competing with Toys R Us, Walmart, and Target. So you're going to find some very unique things in all categories at KidStop. One of the perks of the job is being able to, I don't know, sample the vendors. And so we're here with Lana, who is her first time here at Stock Market. And I must admit, I'm already loving the product. So you're out of Kentucky, right? Yes, I am. So it's a pretty big event here in Roanoke, Virginia. And obviously, it was pretty big enough for you to come. What's been your impression here as a first time vendor at the Stock Market? A lot of people, and they're very friendly. That's very important. They're open-minded. They want to try new products. And they really like our company. They really like our products. And we're happy to be here. Well, I'm, I'm personally happy for you to be here because now I get to have this wonderful uh, hair done for here for Round Roanoke. And I got to say, pretty impress, impressed with this uh, flat iron that is completely good for my hair. Look how soft it makes it look and curly. Not that anybody here cares about that, but here at Stock Market, there is so much for everyone from hair to cheese to toys. We have so much more to show you. Hughes family, you guys have come to Stock Market how, how often? How many years would you say? Well, probably for the last five years, I think, we've, since we moved back to Roanoke. So. And what attracts you to keep coming back? 
I think probably just the variety that they have. There's something for everyone here. It's all the, I guess the funds go to a good cause for Junior League. So I don't know, it kind of gives back to the community and it's a great way to get our Christmas shopping started. So. And Rick, are you a smart shopper and paying attention to what uh, Julie likes? Maybe. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm writing everything down. <laughs> it's a good husband, a very good husband. Any favorite parts of this year's stock market that you uh, noticed different or really enjoyed? Probably just a lot of the food tasting and that kind of stuff. I usually kind of hit that up. But other than that, I mean, it's good every year, so I can't the, think. The couch with the Alabama game on was pretty good. <laughs> What have you thought about stock market thus far? It's been a great place to come and get great ideas for Christmas gifts this year, so I've enjoyed it so far. And have you been to stock market in the past? I have not. It's my first time. I'm surprised at the variety of gifts available here, so it's been good to get different ones for different people this year. And in terms of what you've seen here, obviously you, in addition to coming to shop, you have uh, friends or, or loved ones that are part of this. Who's uh, who do you know here at Stock Market? Um, Philip Barrett has his art booth here selling all kinds of local artwork, showcasing the valley and various sites around the valley. Well, Kayla, I think you need to get more bags in your hand and do some more shopping, or at the very least, sample some of the great food. Definitely. <laughs> You can't beat shopping with a purpose, and here at the 26th Annual Stock Market, you can do just that. Not only are you helping a wonderful cause by giving back to the community, but you get to buy amazing things like this, from food to handcrafts and more. Got to be part of the best part of the gig is shopping here at Stock Market. I'm Kiana Price-Wiggett with Round Roanoke Scene on Cox 9.